Concept art is a form of illustration used to convey an idea for use in films, video game, animation, comic books or other media before it put into the final product. Most of the VFX, animation and even game studios have concept artists to solve designing problems at the beginning of the production. I had an occasion to speak with Sujesh. We've been in the industry for more than 8 years doing concept and matte painting for VFX industry. He also did concepts and matte painting for major films and TV shows as well. Let's learn and listen how to come up with creature and character concept from Sujesh demo. Hi everybody, uh, this is Sujesh here and I'm, uh, I'm a digital matte painter and concept artist. I'm having a fine arts background uh, from India and currently working for a VFX studio uh, based in Toronto. Um, Yes, um, at studios, uh, most of the time we work for feature films, uh, television shows, um, and uh, at studio, uh, we mostly we work for creating and uh, destroying environments, um, set extensions, uh, sometimes brainstorming uh, and developing creatures, characters, and whatnot. Uh, it's, it's, it's mostly the design aspect we focus on. Um, Apart from that, uh, uh, this is definitely imagination takes it a long way, you know, um, and a lot of drawing, a lot of drawing uh, every day. <laughs> it's an exercise. Uh, apart from that, uh, uh, the role as a concept artist, concept art is a form of an illustration, basically. It, it's, it's definitely, it, it conveys an idea. It could be any form of a, a film. It could be a video game. It could be books or any sort of um, media. Um, and um, the role of a concept artist is, is basically uh, developing um, uh, an idea, uh, improvising an idea. Um, it's uh, uh, putting into a final product. Um, and generally, it's used to uh, present uh, a, a visual uh, idea to a, to a client, basically. Yes. Um, today, I'm I'm gonna show you a few uh, quick loose sketches. Like, how do I start uh, designing? Um, it's gonna be a very loose style uh, of of uh, for character. Uh, I don't know if I'm gonna start. Dinesh, uh, advise me. Which should I go with a character or a creature? What do you think? Um, you can go with a creature first, then we can slowly move on to. The yeah. yeah. Um, yeah, we can uh, go with the uh, creature first, then uh, we can yeah. go into character. Yeah, uh, that would work. Yeah, and awesome. uh, yeah. Okay, so guys, if you guys have any question uh, when you was doing the demo, you guys can put yeah. in the chat, or else you guys can, because Wenki will be reading the questions so that you know we can answer it. Super. Okay. Okay. So, let me start. So oh, I'm thinking of uh, some kind of an insect. Um, a creature, creature come insect. Let's start. Let's start. So, so just like when you creating creatures or anything. Okay, today you are thinking of like doing an insect. Um, so, how do you find like? Uh, do you find like references, or are you just like doing something from your uh, visual library? Um, I, I just collect a few uh, uh, insects as as a reference, mm -hmm. but I don't totally copy it or uh, it's just an inspiration uh, just a design inspiration I, I keep it aside but then I I, I, I take elements from here and there uh, they, you know like say eyes or you know the, the thorax the body you know mm -hmm. uh, uh, it's just getting some elements uh, from the uh, the nature you know <laughs> so you're just like grabbing uh like looking at inspiration and grabbing like yeah, stuff it's... from everything and like doing like a mashup and coming up with the concept yeah it's just the the design uh mm -hmm. of uh of, of the creature i i try to uh, uh implement uh and i it's always a shape i try to keep it up uh, as a silhouette Mm -hmm. You know, because uh, silhouette is very important. Um, it it strikes, it attracts basically. Mm. Um, uh, 
but uh, i i keep raising it i keep uh building and erasing destroying it it's it's most of the part i i keep keep uh building and destroying okay yeah so that you don't marry marry to that idea you just like come yeah, up with new designs yeah it, it's got to be so kind of a lose you know mm-hmm. so i don't want to get stuck with any uh, i don't want to love what i do uh, just keeping it so loose so that um i i keep um uh, it's just a development stage yeah so uh, yeah uh, it's already looking like an inset so that was cool <laughs> so now you're moving on to the next one i guess so yeah yeah i focus mostly on the shapes so. though yeah so you don't think about anything nice uh, so uh, so if you work in a studio like uh, you said like you know working in a vfx studio and everything right so how like let's say like you know the client comes and they give an idea so how do you yeah. usually start like do they have like really good idea what they want or sometimes it's really vague and you have to come up with something it's mostly vague they don't know what they want or you know they they have a design in my mind and uh, mm-hmm. some people they give a reference which is very good mm-hmm. references are uh, amazing uh, did they give like Uh, they convey some visual designs or photographs what they have okay um yeah based on that uh it's easy for us to to understand what's in their mind um and to bring some 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 styles nice so you say like uh, mad painter on concept art so uh, So do you do like a lot of concept or a lot of matte painting or it depends upon like your time available in the studio? Yeah, if if this uh time available in the studio we keep uh, painting uh-huh. and creatures or you know environments basically. Uh <laughs> but most of the time it's busy. Uh-huh. Uh you know, mostly set extensions. You know, we'll be filming a lot of stuff. Yeah, it's interesting though. It's fun, you know. Mm. to get paid as well <laughs> <laughs> yeah so like what's the background of this car- like the creature you're designing do you have like any idea like what's this creature or do you have a one story in your mind um i um i want to get some worm characters to it as well mm-hmm. but that's the uh, it, it's still uh, in a development stage okay so sometimes you know at a swing you get the design but then uh you know sometimes you keep breaking your head you don't mm-hmm. know what you want or what do you want okay it's, it's not every time you get a coffee you get some ideas mm. yeah so i also heard that a lot of concept artists like uh they prefer doing traditional than digital like what's your preference yeah. of doing it yeah. Yeah, sometimes yeah, that's a very good question. Yeah. Uh, sometimes I I have I always have a sketchbook in my hand. Um have a ballpen. Um it's uh, it, it's good that way so to to get some design uh running on on in, 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 on paper. It's it's very handy. Mm-hmm. Paper is more handier. So sometimes I sketch it on the the sketchbook and uh photograph it with my cell phone. Mm-hmm. Bring it back to Photoshop. and uh that's a very good way it's very effective mm mm-hmm. uh, uh do you have any sketches you can show or yeah yeah but those are pretty different though let me okay. show you okay mm. yeah. oh nice so these are these are charcoal mm mm-hmm. and it also done in 2013 Yes, this is very old. Uh, <laughs> nice. It's pen and ink. Oh, pen and ink. Uh, oh, nice. Pen and ink, yeah. Uh I love to uh, copy it from some National Geography magazines. Mhm. No. So, uh I try to keep it so loose. Yeah. Just one wash. Yeah. Blind drawings. Yeah, my right. uh like my uh kind of like inspiring artist he always says like if you can do something in one stroke yeah. do it. <laughs> yeah. It's always good to keep trying different pens, different mm-hmm. mediums, different uh inks, you know, uh trying it out 
it's mostly happy accidents okay yeah. you expect something you don't expect some anything and uh, you you start doing it and uh, accidents happen nice i really like your style because it's really loose but still it conveys the idea yeah uh, yeah never get satisfied you know yeah that's the driver <laughs> yeah okay cool Hey, uh, Sujesh, uh, there's a question from uh, Vazist. Uh, yeah. Hey, Sujesh, can you hear me? Yeah, 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 yeah. Go ahead. Uh, uh, yeah. Is, uh, uh, do you also use pieces of images when doing uh, concepts? No, no. Most of the time I don't do that. I, 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 I try to limit myself. My focus is just on the, on the design part. Um, hmm. Yeah. because uh the second stage yeah of course i can use some textures um but definitely not uh not at this stage not at the stage of uh, brainstorming okay just stick with the um... so there's another question from zoe uh -huh. so it was asking like how polished do your concepts have to be have to be before you start showing to food of clients to get Uh, the clients do expect for something uh, pretty uh, finished, so uh, um, so it has to be pretty uh, detailed. Um, okay. So uh, uh, when you're uh, sh uh, going to show to your uh, suits, so how uh, how polished your concept is? Um, the first stage is designing it. Once you get the good silhouette. Uh, yeah. Then I I can go inside and break it out. You what? I'm going to show you like how them. I'm, I'm currently I'm doing three creatures. Uh, once I once I get a design, um, yeah. become satisfied, then then I could I could uh, you know break it up. I can I can I can enlarge it and uh, start working on the details. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, like um, as far as I've seen, like in movies or or games, so I, I mm -hmm. feel like they don't do like full rendered concepts, but it it just like shows like you know what the texture looks like and everything. Then it goes from there. Yeah, but definitely not like photograph. Uh, yeah, because it, it still keeps changing. <laughs> yeah, definitely. <clears throat> So what's like a timeline like usually they give so it depends upon the concept or uh, how is your timeline for like you know if they're giving a concept mostly uh one or two days oh nice maybe. um and uh and it keeps improvising it they they like certain aspects of of this creature and mm -hmm. we show one or one two to three designs at at the same time Mm -hmm. and and from there uh, they might like uh one of the design and from there they 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 might ask to to uh, implement uh, uh two or three uh, uh uh elements from the second one or you know they might want it to change it completely remove it mm -hmm. so it is always changing it's always changing um nice we see like the third character like it kind of you know came from something and it went to something like it's it's you're doing silhouette yet like you know it kind of like we can everybody can have their own story based on what you're doing now yeah definitely So do you prefer like uh, any tablet or it doesn't matter to you? You can do anything. Oh, it doesn't you matter. Want. It oh, doesn't okay. matter. Yeah. Uh, mostly we work with uh Wacom's. Okay.
Oh, it kind of looks cool now. It looks like a bumblebee and combination of everything. Yeah, I always love the, the shrimp is something which I always keep inspired. <laughs> shrimp, so oh, nice. Yeah. yeah, they do have like really complicated um, like structure, right? The thorax, right? Yeah, the, the yeah. inner thing is, looks really cool. Yeah. Uh, So how do you come up with, uh, once you've done a concept, like how do you come up with like a color scheme? Like, like yeah. they usually like tell an idea or you just like go from your mind and you give it to them. Then they will say like, oh, let's make this, you know, this, this way and that way. Yeah. But nature is the best lesson again. Uh, mm -hmm. we, 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 most, most of the time we, uh, we get references from like the, like the, Media, like the images mm -hmm. um, um let's say shrimp it has some transparencies to it yeah um, for an example um let's say uh something else some other creature with uh, which, which has uh, textures could be uh, applied from uh from photographs basically mm. um, yeah make it some water but how did you uh like how do you like as a concept artist like how do you increase your um like uh, designing skills like like do you can you give like any tips to per, like people who can uh, help to like come up like improve their designing skill um i'm very much more uh, applied or attracted to, to traditional art mm -hmm. uh, since i have a very uh traditional background uh I am so drawn to uh, gouache. Okay. Or, uh, um, so even at home, uh, most of the time I, I uh, keep working on uh, the traditional paintings. Mm -hmm. I definitely want to show you sometimes. Yeah, I'll, I'll, maybe after the session I could uh, show some. Sure. Um, yeah. And I use lasso tools. Uh, sometimes it, it's really helpful yeah to, yeah to come up with like really an organic surface organic surface yeah. nice yeah okay so so far if you guys have any question you guys can like based on what you showed so far if you guys have any question based on it you guys can ask if you are shy to ask you know put in the chat and venki will read it for you guys thank you yeah there were lots of questions oh there were a lot of questions okay go for it venki so uh, there's a question from oj uh, this is asking, uh, do you prefer uh, traditional uh, desktop tablets or uh, display monitor tablets for doing uh, console thing um so far i've always been using monitors um sometimes ipads are best you know you you it's compact you can carry it anywhere you want to do so um mm -hmm. ipads are great yeah definitely uh it's an advantage i would say um cool thank you uh so there's another question from him uh how do you communicate the range of uh motion of a creature to animators and riggers, especially with the more conceptual creations, um, we just focus on the on the design of it. At, at this point, we we certainly focus on the design, but uh, uh, that's a good question again. Um, I, I haven't designed anything as this stuff flies though, but uh, uh, I would. Uh, I would uh, have that in my mind, behind my mind, definitely, uh, because uh, if, if the subject is going to fly, then we would also think about it uh, uh, parallelly. Okay. Uh, so in that case, like, have you ever faced a communication challenges where the concept you created was animated, but the rigor or animator didn't move it as you imagined? If so, uh -huh. how no, I haven't faced anything of that sort so far. Um, 
but definitely uh, it's, a, it, it's a it's a supervisor's uh, point of view we 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 do bring it to meetings we we do brainstorm it uh, how to solve that issue if such a question arises um at a preliminary stage yeah i also noticed like um uh, like what mm-hmm. concept artists do they also share their reference so it kind of also conveys the idea right because like if they show the reference they going to know like how it's going to work in in reality yeah definitely the directors would spoon feed the 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 concept artists right yeah. so like at meetings we would definitely uh go ahead with uh with what they really wanted they like they don't like it they they properly communicated uh cool. uh so uh, there's a question from Zoe so what is your uh, favorite thing to design mine i love horses um uh, insects insects go cool. um yeah that's a really artist thing i <laughs> Uh, yeah insects insects, insects. and horses yeah, yeah it, oh, i love uh, the district 9 it's uh, it's phenomenal yeah <laughs> that's interesting um so uh, the question from kim saying uh, how long and how many sketches or thumbnails do you usually do before moving on to a painting do you have do you have to come up with a certain number of ideas or do you just sketch until you find one you like uh i think i'll have to uh, definitely uh keep sketching until uh the one i like today we're going to limit ourselves with, with just one because yeah. uh, the lack of time so definitely uh uh i would i'd love to uh keep improvising it uh till it's fine uh, yeah thanks so jesh uh, Yeah this is something I I like and probably I might uh keep improvising it. Oh, I think. Let's just I'll uh, let's uh, do the like refining for another 10 minutes but I'll queue in then we can jump onto the creature still like you can you know uh, do it. Sure. Okay does it, uh, it does work? Yeah yeah. Oh okay it's good yeah. I can literally see in this um the creature there is a bounce light coming from the bottom so it creates a depth of like 3d in it yeah. so what do you usually like uh, do you prefer doing concept or do you uh, like doing uh, matte painting more concept is fun <laughs> I definitely stick with the yeah. concept yeah it depends upon personalities uh, everybody uh-huh. is different right like uh, yeah. to me uh, i i i love doing because it's so abstract uh, uh you 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 kind of uh look at the balance like where uh-huh. you want to yeah it's uh, so what's like uh um... you, you keep searching you keep dabbling you keep yeah. uh, uh Uh, so what is like most challenging concept uh, you have done in your career um i mean i've been working since uh, 2010 mm-hmm. uh industry mm. um mostly you know creatures creatures recently we've been working on a feature film uh I don't want to mention the name but uh we did a lot of uh a cat transforming into various creatures. So it was fun though, it was totally fun. Uh, yeah, I think that movie is out, isn't it? I'm not sure it's it's it. It's upside down. <laughs> uh I think uh, the movie is uh much sure. hey so jess uh so there's a question from zoe um uh, what are the kind of things you think uh, should be in a good matte painting portfolio uh definitely environments environment cool. um and then certainly uh, uh you can you can show like as many um 
maybe even creatures creatures uh, like I, I don't know if she's asking for for funds uh, like a personal portfolio or uh, she's asking for a personal portfolio yep portfolio, yeah so whatever whatever she inspires or i i i personally uh, i'm i uh, i stick with uh, robotics sometimes uh, you know just to give a variation of different uh, elements and just to give some more interesting uh, elements during there so definitely uh, um, environment stuff is some and yeah yeah but you have to show your skills in in in, in a lot of ways so i would i would prefer like you know um some environment some some creatures some some robotic environments yeah um, something interesting this is stuns stuns of uh, uh, uh sudesh like what do you think about because uh, like nowadays in matte painting uh, yeah. it's kind of like you know the department is like they are like uh, spreading into two parts like one matte painter is like who focus on more into technical mm-hmm. and another matte matte painter is like who focus more on like painting and stuff mm-hmm. like the other matte painters like do a lot of projects and stuff So what do you think about that? I it's it's always good to uh uh the industry always loves to to have more both of the technical skills and a bit of uh designing skills like balanced. But I I would prefer like uh, myself I'm mostly into uh the creative part. Uh my brain works that way. <laughs> uh yeah so uh you always consider uh starting a concept in 3d say in zebras would you I would you would, consider yeah i i would i think uh, a good concept artist should uh have a like a 2d skill um so that he, if 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 he doesn't know what he wants to do in in 2d then uh Uh, and it's very difficult uh, to create something in 3D directly uh, but needs more skill uh, yeah first you need a sketch before uh, starting a 3D stuff yep yeah yeah that makes things more easier more refined yep uh so you always uh, start uh, black and white or do you also uh, start with colors when doing a concept uh once you get that good silhouette then it's it's uh well, it's hard with black and white basically yeah so there you go you got color already <laughs> yeah so, so. so you change your brush to linear dodge to make like a brighter colors yeah color dodge okay the dodge yes So uh do you have any concept artist you follow or get inspired by? I I love uh do so. Um yeah, I think a lot of people uh, doesn't and- know do so. Do so is like a uh, old uh, old school like now old school is like a really uh Anthony Anthony is somebody I I yeah. followed. Um, nice. uh Anthony Jones Anthony Jones right yeah okay. cool and do so right do so yeah so uh Dinesh uh, can you put that uh, do so the spelling in the chat uh, or yeah. not now maybe later yeah yeah sure sure Uh, are you are getting that uh, texture in your uh, creature um, are you using like a smudge brush yeah just a smudge brush yes oh nice yeah, yeah no, i'm it's... still keeping it so loose though i'm still keeping it very loose uh. mm-hmm. nice yeah 
yeah i used to uh follow anthony jones so he is one of the other person who uh, inspired me to paint as well and he keep it really loose yet like his creature looks realistic <laughs> like how do you like usually convey the scale in your creature uh just put a guy or <laughs> make a guy sit on the top of the creature creature yeah uh, the, nice the yeah the, uh, the scale defines nice yeah that looks like a dinosaur scale now nice <laughs> that looks pretty cool he's having changed it to that <laughs> this vehicle you know yeah nice yeah. once you have the the front of the leg and then you can you know um i do some perspective i guess like to the second leg behind nice wow in matter of seconds you know we got a creature uh okay so just i think uh, yeah. we are like almost 10 minutes and uh, let's uh, jump on to like a character and what we will do and uh, i'll just open the floor for any questions uh, based on what you showed so far so go for it guys like if you guys have any questions based on what you showed so far you guys can ask before we jump on to a character workshop all right hey guys it's oj here uh could you hear me yeah yeah we can hear you yeah okay uh most okay this is kind of a complex question it's But I mean most of our visual library about creature anatomy is based on like exoskeletons like insects and crabs where the skeleton is on the outside versus yeah. endoskeletons mammals or squishy blobs like octopus or squids right mm -hmm. uh but mm -hmm. have you ever faced the challenge where they asked you like what was the most unconventional creature you had to create that didn't quite fit those molds but challenge you know your concept of what a living creature is supposed to look yeah. like every every subject when they when you start with it 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 starts with you don't know anything like you start it fresh right so uh, you you get to know let's say if, if they wanted something like a lizard or something you you get to study the creature you go google google it up you study something about like how the uh uh the creature uh, skin is the texture is and what kind of mammal it is you you get to know about you understand the subject and then you you dive into the uh, uh the design uh, that makes it a bit more easier uh to to derive the subject i i think i think you you got to know okay uh what kind of uh, uh animal it is um uh and if it makes sense have you ever had uh, a request for a creature where references were hard to come by or because it was so imaginative or out there you you always break a subject uh, you, we don't copy the subject exactly how things are right so sometimes uh um 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 we 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 do uh go uh, let's say we we wanted something uh like a a beetle um uh, or the rhino beetle um let's say if we wanted something like that and uh we we do break it uh, abstract 
we abstractly uh, keep it loose exactly the same step what I did right now like you know we we make a few uh, thumbnail sketches like a lot like a few thumbnail sketches and and from that you 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 keep deriving it it's it's best it's definitely uh, um, addition and subtraction um, it, it doesn't have to look it, it's been copied from some that subject but then uh, Definitely, as I said, it's uh, imagination is is, uh, is it takes a long way. Um, so, so keep doing a lot of thumbnails and uh, getting things more abstract would definitely help uh, to to break up the things. I think. Oh, cool. thanks. Thanks. Yeah, I think uh, we can move on to the character. Thanks, OJ. Thanks, OJ, for the question. Okay, let's go on to like a character. So yeah. for the character, so you do the same process, like uh, yeah, yeah. Oh, nice. I think, um, I think it's, we we are ahead of the time, I guess, right? Yeah. We have the time. Yeah, yeah, we have time. We have time. Yeah, I'll uh, queue in the time. Yeah, we can do like uh, ten minutes for the thumbnails, and maybe like ten to fifteen minutes for yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So do you usually look for references or um, like you are good with like your visual library? Um, I think I wanted to make some kind of a, like a gladiator or, you know, a tribal mm -hmm. uh, character um, known just to make it more interesting, <laughs> uh, I suppose. Um, maybe a warrior. Oh, nice. It's easier. Yeah. What's your favorite creature design from any of the recent movies? Do you have any? Or uh, I, I love uh, John Carter. John Carter is uh, uh, his movie. Do you, do you guys know? Yeah, yeah, that's yeah, yeah. yeah. A lot of the creatures there. Yeah, the Mars. Yeah, it's fun. It's uh, definitely a big fan of Star Wars. Uh, the Attack of the Clones. And do you have any franchise that you want to work on, like Star Wars and Marvel um, movie? Definitely, maybe in future. Yeah. Yeah. For big my big, uh, one. Sorry? Any specific one you want to work on? Do you want to make like a creature for Star Wars or do you want to make one for like maybe John Carter 2? John Carter would be amazing. Great. Thank you. So when you do like characters like this, so do you have a lot of experience doing live drawing or like traditional sculpting? Definitely that helps. A lot of sketches, uh, repetition helps, you know, because mm -hmm. that stays in your brain. And uh, I think that's one of the most of the artists do that. Like uh, they keep drawing. Mm -hmm. uh, um, Anthony Jones talks about it um, in detail. Nice. But like, uh, like, did you uh, have any uh, practice doing like anatomy, like human anatomy? Yeah, in school, oh, nice. we used to go for a lot of uh, anatomy classes. Nice. And uh, that's like a muscle memory. You you have to keep doing it. Mm -hmm. Maybe you don't. Uh, maybe if you wanted to refine it for 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 a few months, you don't do it. Then you it's you practice for a couple of days and you get it back. Oh, nice. Uh, I think it's kind of like going to the gym. 
<laughs> yeah, yeah. Because it's chasing your memory, yeah? Yeah. So, uh, hey Sujesh, uh, there's a question from Zoe. Mm -hmm. uh, I have always struggled with uh, my painting uh, proper uh, proportions when freehandling thumbnails. Mm -hmm. How do you correct those issues when moving towards a final concept? Um, something I, when you when you work on a paper and a pen, it's uh, it's. It, it, I have the same thing. Like sometimes you you work on a paper pen, it's more comfortable when you work on a digital uh, Wacom. Sometimes, mm -hmm. so. Uh, uh, but the good thing is just practicing. Um, I think uh, you build up a, a idea, like say, make a few thumbnail sketches, and from that you you pose it up, um, and then you. Uh, uh, could you repeat the question again? I'm sorry. Uh, so uh, she is like always struggle with uh, maintaining proper proportions when mm -hmm. uh, free handling thumbnails. Mm -hmm. How do you correct those issues when moving towards a final concept? The way is all about. Um, I think uh, you have to keep uh, um, keep it loose and uh, don't be afraid of uh, correcting it. You once we get satisfied with okay, you 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 don't want to uh, make it change, then you get stuck with that. Uh, I think free your mind and um, go ahead with uh, correcting it. If you think uh, you wanted to make a change, uh, it's definitely uh, it's advisable to 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 move around with to keep changing it. It changes. Thanks, Sujesh. Uh, do you have like any uh, tribal character in mind like when you're doing this or it's like coming from a visual library or looking at some references? no it's just coming from the visual library we have oh, okay. uh, made so many uh drawings and it it just remains in your brain right when once when you keep doing uh sketching every day or uh, like drawing every day it's it stays in your brain it's just a repetition mm -hmm. and it could be anything it's just a mu muzzle memory uh yeah. thing. so um um yeah, that's one thing I, I, uh, I understand. Uh, like, where you usually drive your inspiration from, like, to do a concept? You know, it's it's a good idea to uh, to to see a lot of I I, I see a lot of magazines. Mm -hmm. uh, um, a national geography you see the tribal uh, uh, creatures like it, it's just building your 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 visual library um, that's definitely in a sense um, it improvises your, your design um, and not to have any fear in in once when you when you when you keep developing a, an idea uh, don't constrain with uh, um, um, keep improvising until you, you get really satisfied. Um, yeah. Nice. Yeah, I don't feel shy to, to correct it. Maybe I should. Uh, Oh, so you're gonna take this and build it for yeah okay. yeah yeah i think we are behind the time i guess <laughs> okay so we'll do another 15 minutes of this uh ideation then uh we'll have some q a um i'll just queue in the time so it's 8 30 so we will stop at 8 45 so still uh, you can refine it till then okay, perfect yeah so 
like character like this like uh, do you usually um, have like any lighting in your mind or you just like uh, sample colors and go from there i think it's uh, as you go you know it's like uh, picking a torch in a forest you you don't know what you're digging up you know? mm-hmm. it's it's as you keep uh, doing it you, uh, you you it's like uh, um you you keep learning uh, mm-hmm. as you go uh, you don't have anything in your mind just uh, keep it loose uh, yeah. again it's the same uh, answer i would say it's you know keeping it loose yeah. don't have any uh, anything in your um, i also noticed that you are doing this thing um, i think that's really helpful for i think every other artist there like since you painted you never zoomed into your canvas so so that's kind of like really surprising because i tend to like when i paint i tend to like zoom in and zoom out but yeah. you're not doing it so i think that kind of helps you to well, not like uh, bogging on to details yeah. you're just focusing on like the primary forms then yeah 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 so it it allows you to uh, see the whole picture at the same time yeah you know it is a good exercise uh it's like you know uh, when you when you draw it on a paper on a, on a sketchbook basically it's the same thing right you 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 uh you just keep sketching it as you go so do you have like any favorite tribe in your from your visual library like you can name it yeah not really i'm not good in that <laughs> <laughs> uh, but i i don't know the names though but then uh, it is there in my visual uh yeah, yeah. it's in your inner mind it's somewhere you know sitting yeah. in your mind but it just yeah. comes yeah yeah but i see a lot of tribal people they have the tattoos uh, yeah. drawn on the body which is really an inspiration uh yeah uh um, it's I... so cool Some, i see a lot of um uh, african uh, tribal uh uh when you see documentaries yeah I, uh, it's it's cool it's very cool to 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 observe those things it's fun to yeah uh, um like uh, i was really inspired by this tribe called uh huli or yuli like uh, uh-huh. they are from australia so uh-huh. they are the tribes like uh, like they are like aboriginal tribes they live in the forest and they tend to like uh, make their own like clothing and everything and it's pretty interesting and they also like uh, wear a lot of colorings on their body mhm mhm mm-hmm. so it's pretty I interesting see, okay. yeah oh okay yeah really eh okay yeah at any point don't uh, feel fear to to make a correction that's it's one positive thing i think i i learned from basically it's, it's if you have if you have any uh uh things you wanted to change don't fear keep keep adjusting it keep changing it yeah. it looks loose yet it reads pretty good i see yeah and i also like uh, the way you did the the feet because i'm really like always like scared to do the feet mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. so there is where anatomy comes in like uh, yeah. life drawing helps life drawing yeah in life drawing you have they have uh, 5 minutes 10 minutes uh, you you just pose it up you don't have to work on the details yeah keep it loose keep it loose keep it uh be yeah, i think i have i want to change the yeah, yeah that's what like one of my favorite uh, artists he always says like uh, yeah. always indicate don't state so you just indicate like what it's there you don't have to state everything what's there yeah Hey Shujesh uh there's a question from Vashist uh have you done a uh, color keys to guide the uh, lighting um not really actually 
Um, what, what do you mean? Uh, color keys in the sense? Uh, I think in uh, animation studios, they do like yeah. uh, give lighters like uh, um, like different environments with different lighting. So I think mm -hmm. that's a color key, yeah. Um, yeah, for example, in fully CG environments, sometimes do they ask you to do like uh, mood studies just so that uh, they can uh, decide on how that particular shot will look like? Not really, actually. Um, I no, in, in, in specific, they don't uh, deny. I never had a chance of, of doing such a thing. Uh, unless they unless they insist that they wanted this color or the character they wanted this environment or if it's let's say if they if you're working on a stormy environment then uh, they would definitely it's uh emphasize it say uh, we want it more of uh, uh, uh it's it's a dark uh, uh it's more of a uh, uh stormy sky or stormy uh uh environment then they might emphasize the colors uh, in specific case. I never encountered such an event in, I think. <laughs> uh, well, it's not difficult, I guess, like if they insist, then. So do you like uh, any uh, like a brush presets or anything or it doesn't matter to you? You can do whatever you want. It doesn't matter to me. I, I think I keep it uh, simple. Yeah. And brown brush. Uh, of course, brushes are very interesting. Mm -hmm. Right. Today, I wanted to keep it so uh, uh, loose. I don't want to get it complicated. Uh, I, I try to minimize my brush set. Yeah. yeah. that you, your focus is more about uh, the design, uh, right? Yeah. He's a uh, he's a uh, it's a warrior prince or something. Yeah. Yeah, so just we have two more minutes you can uh, do like two more minutes then uh, we'll open the floor for questions then yeah we can end the session yeah perfect yeah but have you ever designed like any vehicles or any mechanical stuff like while in your concept or career uh, 
vehicles. Yeah, we we did some for I think for Robocop. Uh, I think we did some uh, endo uh, skeleton mm, nice. ideas. Mm-hmm. So that, that was really fun. Uh, it's uh, it's very interesting. Yeah. Um, yeah, I, I love that stuff. Yeah. Yes, it slowly, you know, uh, came from life from that loose sketch to something like really good. Okay, so uh, so it's eight forty, yeah. and uh, we can stop it here. Um, so, guys, you guys can ask questions to suggest. So, I'm just opening the floor to ask questions. So, you guys can ask any questions apart from his address, and yeah, we'll go from there. So, go for it. Uh, if you're shy to ask. Uh, you can put it in the chat and I can read it as well. Thank you. Okay, OJ asked, what do you think of using kit bashing for concepting? Yeah, I'll definitely say uh, it's a go. Go with it. Yeah. Yeah, I yeah. think what nowadays... Oh, yeah. yeah, so I think nowadays there are... Uh, I think there's a lot of sites like providing kit bashing like environments and stuff like that, I think. Uh... Mm-hmm. Okay, so mm-hmm. there was another question, Sujay, sorry. Uh, how did you get into concept art? I think you went over it really fast. Um, I think uh, it, it's having a love for something. You, This is something I always keep dreaming. I wanted to get into. It's, it's a, sometimes it's passion and it's, it's a hunger you wanted to uh keep doing something you won't get tired as well you get paid for it so uh it's it's fun right <laughs> yeah i think uh literally see that you know you're really passionate about concept art from how we did it and you know the work you showed us definitely uh, yeah. i think passion and love is must to do any career i guess yeah yeah hey okay, uh, go go ahead, it, yeah. Uh, things uh, yeah, 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 that was me. Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> uh, hi, Sujesh. Um, thanks for the for the demo. That was awesome. Oh, thank um, you. Thank uh, you. I'm curious, uh, as a kind of concept artist and matte painter in the VFX industry, mm-hmm. what the breakdown, like, what would you, how much time are you doing, like, concept? How much time are you doing matte painting? And, like, with the matte painting, is it, like, uh, how much time are you doing, like, kind of small stuff like cleanups and set extensions versus like really big expansive environments yeah it, it's always a bonus when you uh when you when you when they give a concept it's always a bonus it's you you wait for something like that right you, you <laughs> grab like it <laughs> you yeah. grab it uh but uh yeah half of the time it's it's a dry day you 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 get the uh, set extensions or you know right. most cleanups yeah you you can't avoid it right it's uh of course not every, yeah, that's not every time you get really. the, yeah <laughs> right yeah okay thank you right, thanks thank you <laughs>